Today on the bench we have a HD mirror cam, one of those mirror cams that you buy off of eBay or other stores as such. This was sent to me by Don. I'm a cluck I'm a collector. <laughs> I'm a junk collector. I have no idea if he's a collector otherwise. The issue is uh, it no work. He believes that it was the uh, jack here, power jack, that is the problem. He wasn't too sure, but uh, we're going to find out real quick. Now, I've already tore this apart. I have it open to expedite it. Hopefully, this is going to be a fast video. I should never say that because my videos, well, are not that fast. To pull this apart, you'll probably want to use uh, some kind of spudger. And uh, then there are two screws, I believe, back here that you have to unscrew. And uh, once you do that, you can pull it off. And uh, yeah, the two screws are right there. So here we have the mirror. And there's my overhead camera wing. It's kind of cool. And then, uh, to apologize if I go backwards, it's because my image on my video monitor is backwards. So, anyway, this is the uh, LCD uh, spot for the uh, mirror so you could view what you played and this is the back you know what an LCD monitor does so why am I trying to explain it to you this is the guts guts this is the internet say howdy uh, we have the LCD screen right here we have a battery right here this is marked uh, 3.7 volts 450 mega amps and it's uh, dated 7-20-2017 with uh, 1.665 uh, working hours. Let me bump you in so you could see. See? That's, uh, that's pretty much it. And as you saw, there's really not much to this. We have the buttons right here, these are tactile buttons encased. Uh, battery, the uh, main board, we have the CPU here, we have the memory card jack there, we have the power jack here, and right here is the LCD display. Haven't flipped it over, let's see what it do read. And it looks like it reads 524 of 2017. I guess I should look in the camera. I could probably see it better. And that is true. I can see it better. And that is the date. So now we got verification that yes, this thing is that old. Not sure how long Don had it before it broke. Uh, before his dreams were crushed. Uh, I've had it a few months now. And then over here, we have speaker. And as you see, the device just came to life. Right here, we have the microphone. And right there we have the camera lens. Now we saw that this did come to life. And it has since petered out. Let me bump you out a little bit. Here we have the power jack. And let's see if we can find out why uh, this this might be going uh, might be the culprit. I gotta bump you back in for this neat little trick. Okay, I am taking wagers, taking bets. Uh, who who's gonna who's gonna jump in? Who's gonna speculate that it could be that? 
Let's find out. Yep. And look at that. It's alive. It is alive. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder that back in. And as you see, there was absolutely no support. After I weld that in, I'll go ahead and put some hot snot on there, give it a little bit of support, and hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera because I, well, as we already know, am blind, and I need to see, so I may need to get in here with my magnoscope, which means my big head would get in your way. Let's give it a shot just the same. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some flux on here. Try to put some flux on here. And then I'm going to try to solder that. Got you in a little closer. Of course, I know the video right now sucks because I'm in uh, digital zoom. But it gives you an idea. Alright, not sure if I'm going to be able to do this without using my magical mystery eye, but let's give it a shot. The uh, I'm actually sitting... Uh, I'm sitting on this side of the uh, the device, so this is actually following in the shadows. But let's see what happens. Now I'm really not able to see this very well. I'll look on the monitor. Oh, look, I got a big blob. All right, let me do this off camera. Be right back. Okay, I have it on, I do believe. I haven't powered it on yet. I was waiting for you. Looks like I may have a solder bridge. Maybe I should hit that real quick with the uh, desoldering braid again and uh, see if I can clean that up just a little. Okay, that looks a little better. I also did um, put some uh, thick solder on the edges here, hold that in. So we have the plug in and it's nice and snug and secure. Let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. Let me back you off so you can see the whole thing as I plug it in. Hey, there we go. Very cool. Of course, it's I don't think you could spin this around too much. 
Now, that's uh, that's it. Very cool. So the uh, display is saying, hey, there is no card in here. It's like, hey, I can concur. So, let's go ahead and put a card in there. Takes a uh, an SD. This is a eight gig, so it should be should work. I'm not sure how much it'll take. It's probably a 32 gig. And there we go. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Well, not sure which one starts the camera. So I've got the uh, mirror here, and I'm looking at the uh, the writing on the uh, the silk screen on it, so I could see what is what. So this one here is settings. Screen. Well, you could see the screen pops up. Resolution is at 720. 720 or VGA, so 640 by 480 or 720 by 1280. Um, so I'm going to say that this camera records in AVI mode or MPEG mode, probably AVI. So it's going to be really, really fat. video files. 8 gig is only going to give me 3 minutes. Now I'm in the endless loop from Hades. I don't know how to get out of here. Let's just see if we can power it off. All right, so now we are recording. We can tell that by that flashing red light as well as our flashing blue light. And it does show that our battery is charging. And uh, we're at 21 seconds record time. see my workbench and up above my camera the one that I'm recording on and I think the video is upside down so If I can, I will fix that in post. Okay, very good. Um, I don't know how to stop it. I just found out how to stop it. Okay.
These are really, really small screws, probably like a, a 004 or something tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Have microphone, reset. Got little rubber snaps here that go over your over the mirror and then this will lock it in place and we got the uh, lens right here and then we have two um, ultraviolet lights I wonder if this blue tint that's on this mirror is not a uh, uh, film, protection film. So Don, you might want to check that out. See if that does indeed come off and uh, allow you to see it a lot clearer. I really don't know if it does or doesn't. My speculation is that it does, but it could be on there for a, a reason. You'll probably want to give it another another good cleaning, but uh, there you go. All right, well, <laughs> that's it here. This project is done, over, and out. So we will catch you in the next video. It was a fairly easy fix. Hopefully it'll help you out with yours if you have something similar. Nothing to it. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.